Hey guys, in this video, I am gonna be unboxing a brand new set of QSC K12.2 speakers coming up. So a little bit of background, we run a DJ company and our DJ company uh, has a previous series, the QSC K12 speakers that we've been using now for about two years and we've been very happy with them. Uh, I've gone ahead and purchased a new set of speakers, the K12.2s. I've heard a lot of good things about them and I'm very excited to uh, start using these in the regular run uh, during our DJ shows. So I figured I would share with you the experience here of opening up the set of K12.2s. So without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. All right, we're gonna start off with the box on the floor here. Gonna go ahead and cut our tops open. So I'm excited, kind of pulling this thing out. You know, the the weight of the box. I'm surprised at how light the the box even is. I'm more excited to even see here how light the speakers themselves are. All right, let's see what we got. Start off here with some of the padding, put that off to the side. Go ahead and pull our speaker out. So in addition to the speaker, we've got our power cable. Nicely bagged up here. Also got our uh, quick start guide. And that is it for the box. Let's take a look at our power plug here real quick. good length power plug you know I got uh, length of my arms here and I still got a little bit of slack so I don't know, probably looking at a maybe a six or eight foot uh, power plug here Smell that new speaker smell. All right, so here we go. Let's take a closer look at this thing. So we start off the front here has this nice metal screen that's flush with the front of the speaker. Down at the bottom, we've got our QSC logo, a little area where it's gonna light up when powered, and then uh, sporting the uh, K.2 series information on the bottom. Let's go ahead and turn the speaker around a little bit here. And so there's a handle up top, I'll show you in a minute. Um, there's also a handle on the side, and then there are some rubber feet so that uh, if you were going to grab this speaker by the handles, you can tilt it on its side, set it down, use it as a stage monitor if you wanted, and it's resting on those rubber feet. And the information on the box says that this speaker is weighing in at 39 pounds. So again, just kind of spinning it around here so you can get a full overview our side, We've got all of our inputs and settings on the back, which we'll go into in a minute or two here. Kind of spinning around this side, so you can see this area. 
and then we're back to the front. Let's take a look at the top real quick. So the top here has got this handle where I've been picking it up. And then on this handle, there's an area where you could screw something else to the top of it. So I suppose if you wanted to mount, uh, you know, everything from maybe a light to uh, some other some other setting, uh, of some sort of instrument that you wanted to put up top, you've got this uh, area where you can screw in something else to the top of the speaker. If we flip around to the back, I'm sorry. If we flip around to the bottom, I notice on the bottom of the speaker here, it's got two different uh, recessed areas to put your speaker stand poles. So this first one here is on an angle, and uh, if you were gonna mount the speaker, it's, uh, it's gonna actually be mounted where it's tipping forward just a little bit to kind of send the sound uh, almost in a downward pattern. And then this other, uh, this other hole here for your speaker stand is going to put the speaker so that it's going to sit completely right side up and point straight out. And just so you can see here, pretty comfortable, pretty comfortable lifting it with just one hand. Using two hands makes it a lot easier. The other thing to note on the bottom here is that there are these rubber feet and there's this rubber back piece that it's resting on when I stand the speaker up straight. And when I stand the speaker up straight, picking it up with one hand isn't too bad. Using two hands gives you a little bit more leverage with it. Let's go ahead and spin it around to the back. So looking at the back, we've got three different areas where we've got gains. We've got uh, A, B, and C, all with these little dials. We've got our LCD readout here, which has our back button, looks like our enter button. And then we've got a dial to go through the different settings uh, for this uh, gain A. We've got an XLR input as well as an output, probably to go to our other speaker, as well as our gain B, which also has an XLR uh, input as well as an output. Our gain C here goes to this three and a half millimeter port which you could plug in. Uh, it says on the instructions of musical instrument, or I would imagine some sort of a tablet, iPad, phone, uh, coming out of a headphone jack. Uh, it looks like the power switch on these uh, K12.2s is a little bit smaller than the power switch that was on the uh, original series K12s. And then we've got our universal uh, power port here, which has the handy feature of locking the power cord in the speaker. So just to demonstrate on our power cord, there's this lock piece. We'll go ahead and insert that in to the back of our speaker and that does lock. I can't pull this out unless I unlock it with the you know pushing down on the locking piece there for the power cord so let's spin our speaker around here and let's power this guy up i'm going to take my iec cable here and plug that in and then with that plugged in i'm going to go ahead and power it up and it's going to take a minute here but our screen is lighting up and our blue power light has come on and we are now turned on and ready to go. Let's take a closer look at our LCD panel and our knob. All right, so I want to take just a few minutes here and quick go through all the menu options that are available on the LCD screen. So by moving the little turn knob wheel thing here, we have the option to go into line A and line B. Line A, if I hit the enter button here, I can select line or I can select mic. And if I'm selecting mic, it's asking me if I want to switch, am I sure I want to switch? For line B, if I go into that, it's giving me the option to have either line in or INST, which I'm assuming is for like directly connecting an instrument. And those are the options for the different lines in. 
Then this has presets, and right now it's set to default. If we go into that, we'll run through these factory presets. So we have default, live, live, bright, dance, stage monitor one, two, AC guitar, Vox, bass amp, hand mic, head mic, and then studio monitor. So under the presets, the option here to add a sub, right now it's at no sub, but then it gives you the different options here. So 80, 100, 125. You uh, can also add a delay. And if you go in here as I turn it, this uh, apparently increases, decreases. You can go in and adjust the EQs everything from the highs all the way down to the lows or it gives you the option to reset and then we have settings and under settings we have save scenes recall scenes and if I go into like save scenes here you can see user one two three four we can go back recall scenes same thing different users LED so I can go in here and control either the front and the rear, or just have the rear light up, or just have the front. I can adjust the contrast of this screen. I think it was set at eight originally, so I'll put it back to eight here. And then it's got a full factory reset that you can do. And those are the options on the LCD screen. So now for the fun part, I am going to do a sound test with you and run through the different presets that are on the speaker. Um, I'm going to record this using a Shure mic, a PG58, and then send that audio through a Newmark M6 mixer. Uh, I'm going to be playing directly off of a laptop here and this is all getting directly input into my iPhone. did want to just show you a little closer look here at the quick start guide quick start guide here is going to show you the different uh, panel identifiers here for the back of the QSC as well as a menu map that kind of outlines uh, a little bit of what the menus are and then it's also going to have a system hookup guide showing you all the different areas that you can hook up uh, input and output out of the back of the speaker. And then on the back here it's got a K.2 settings touch mix screen if you are going to be using this with the touch mix uh, piece of equipment. Hey, that's going to do it for my review and unboxing of the K12.2 speakers. If you enjoyed this video, please consider smashing that like button. And if you are new to this channel, we do different tech toy gadget reviews as well as do-it-yourself projects. So please consider subscribing and go ahead and hit that little notification bell and you will get notified as I release new videos. Speaking of new videos, uh, maybe you have an existing set of K12 speakers like I do. Coming up, I'm going to be releasing a video that's going to be doing a comparison between the original K12s as well as the K12.2s to kind of show the difference.
performances. So watch for that coming out. My name is Jeff. This is Tinker Ford. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you soon. And I just realized that I bought a set of these speakers. I haven't opened the other one up yet. It is still in the box. I know that this has already been a long video and I don't want to take up much more of your time. So I'm going to have to do that in super speed. Oh, <laughs>